you can use the tax code to encourage efficiency. Efficiency is a great thing. It helps consumers. It helps bond industries. I, I think that would be really good. Some kind of uh, you know, indication, what, what I'd say clean energy standard, that didn't pick a technology or a fuel, but basically said, look, let's, let's get our carbon footprint to X by a certain date, maybe pick the utility industry, uh, fuel agnostic, coal could get there if it did certain technologies, gas could get there. I think that might be possible. And in many ways, you know, what we have today is almost too many energy policies or none at all. But, but we don't, you know, some of, something like that would be helpful. Uh, a, a way to nurture investment, you know, kind of what ARPA-E has done. I, I do believe that that helps some of the small companies get, get launched. I think those are, and then a good export policy. You know, in other words, our market here is not going to be that big. Uh, G might make 120 heavy-duty gas turbines in, in Greenville, South Carolina every year. Five go to the U.S., 115 go outside the United States. So good export policy. Uh, at, and then the last thing I'd say, Bruce, is just uh, uh, words like green have killed this movement, right? <laughs> it's so precious. It's, it's become like such an elitist, uh, such an elitist indication that I, I think we have, to, we have to talk about energy security, energy efficiency, job creation. This has to be reformulated and remarketed and repurposed because you know, it's just become an elitist us versus them, and that's never what, this has always been about technology, job creation, productivity, American leadership, and, and it all got lost, and so I think that's, that's how I, that's how I did.